Hi folks, today we're going to be tying this fly here. It's called Brad's Bait Fish. Now this pattern has taken a fair number of different species of fish, including all types of trout, gold eye, moon eye, sauger, walleye, perch, a lot of the sunfish. It's just a perfect all-round little bait fish pattern. So let's get to it. Okay, so this fly that we're going to be tying right now, I'm calling it Brad's Bait Fish. It's a great little stickleback pattern, but what it does, it shows you how to tie in tinsel to get a smooth tinsel body. If you look at a lot of the flies out there in the market today, you'll notice that tinsel has a whole pile of bumps and, and it just looks ugly. So when a fish hits that tinsel body, it'll unwrap all the time. This is how you tie it to get a smooth tinsel body that's going to be extremely hard to get undone. Once again, you start your thread on a 45, you come up, straight up, and you wrap over the thread. But this time you're not going to cut the tag end off, you're going to wrap against it. Because you're pulling back on the tag end to have really close wraps of thread all the way down the hook shank. And that's a whole secret in tying tinsel bodies. If you keep the same diameter right throughout the whole fly, you'll have a smooth tinsel body. And you notice how close those wraps are. Like you want to cover the whole shank of the hook with black thread. Okay. Just before the point of the barb, and remember that's your reference point, you're going to cut the tag end of thread. You're going to get a piece of tinsel and cut it. Now, the great thing about mylar tinsel, it's gold on one side, silver on the other. If you want the gold shining out, you tie the silver towards you. So I'll lay that on the side and do a wrap. Now we're going to wrap to the point of the barb in close wraps. Let your thread hang down and you're at the point of the barb. Now you're going to wrap this back once again, close wraps all the way back. Hopefully when you hear that little tink, your thread doesn't break. Uh, this is where if you're a youngster, your eyesight is really keen and you can see exactly where that thread is going. When you're an older guy like me, then you're always playing catch up. You think it's going in the right spot, and hopefully it is. And you stop about an eighth of an inch away from the eye of the hook. Now, when you go to turn this over, what's going to happen? See it silver right now. When you go do your first wrap, it flips over to the gold. And this tinsel will always do that. So if you want a silver body, you wrap the gold towards you. If you want a gold body, you wrap the silver towards you. And you can put quite a bit of pressure on this, laying one wrap right next to the other. And you notice how smooth that tinsel body is. There's no bumps or lumps or anything else. And it's going to be smooth all the way down. You wrap a body like this and this thing will last for quite a while. It'll last even longer so if you do three or four bodies to do three or four flies and put head cement on it and then let it dry overnight, this fly will last for quite a few fish. Okay, once you get close to the eye of the hook, that's where you're going to tie it off now. You come underneath the material and over top. 
keep that thread tight do a few more wraps cut the tinsel then you're going to secure that tinsel down now as you can see how smooth like that is what I call baby butt smooth there's no way that tinsel is going to come apart on you so the wing on this fly is actually really easy to tie in as well it's pheasant tail and all you're going to do is just cut a clump of pheasant tail you're going to measure the fiber so that they come to the bend of the hook lay that down on top and the way you tie in your material again bring your thread between your thumb and your forefinger 45 degree angle down do that twice so you secure it start forming your head now if you notice the way I'm holding my scissors I'm not holding them straight up and down I'm holding them on an angle that follows the eye of the hook because it'll cut that fiber or the tag end of the pheasant tail on an angle and you'll be able to form your head So you do the finish once again. Now like I said I'm a believer in easy flies and, and tying them because this pattern can represent a multitude of bait fish and it's a great pattern for trout walleye, sauger, I've even taken gold eye and moon eye on it, just a variety of different species.